Right now I'm near Tel Aviv in a city called Bnei Barak. We're here for a very special occasion to dedicate an ambulance. It's a gift of our friends in Germany and it's dedicated for a very special purpose. This is the fifth ambulance we've been able to dedicate this year and this ambulance is going to serve the needs of severely disabled children and adults. It will help them come for daily care to hospitals and it will also serve them in crisis situations. In these days when Israel is still facing many rocket attacks and terrorism, this ambulance is very critical for the care of her citizens. Always taking care of children, from newborn children to very old ages. Uh, so we have more or less here in this specific facility, we have 90 children and adults. But in total, in all the facilities in Israel, we have around 600, 700 children. We take care of them with passion, with motivation, and we give every single one of them all our hearts. Okay, so the fourth floor is uh, compromised of children who are acutely ill. They're more, uh, they need more um, medical supervision. Uh, they're complex um, health issues that compromise them on a daily basis. We have children who have problems with uh, genetics, birth, accidents in the home or out of the house, um, and just uh, things that are very rare. Uh, we house the children that are the most complicated in the state of Israel, uh, they come here. Uh, they range from uh, babies from three months old till we've got some that it's one lady that's 50. And she's been here since she was a little girl. If someone will ask me, what is, how you will define Ale? What's the difference between Ale and other organization? I will say that in Ale we are taking care of the most difficult and challenging cases. When all the others give up, we take care of the children and we are achieving unbelievable achievements with the children. Because they have many difficulties, multiple uh, difficulties and challenges, we have to take them very often to hospitals, to treatments all over Israel. So that's why we needed a specific ambulance for this task. Someone can ask me why you are not ordering Magen David Adom. It's complicated to order Magen David Adom. We have plenty of experience from the past. We used to order Magen David Adom, but they are not familiar with the specific instruction for every single child here. Every single child has his own protocol, and he have how to move him, how to carry him, to carry him, how to transport him from one place to another. Every single child has his own protocol, and they are not familiar with that. So we have now. We used to have one ambulance that we are using the ambulance for daily basis, but because of the war and all the tense and the pressure, the children can actually feel it. And we found ourselves in a very difficult situation. Many children, we had to evacuate many children to hospitals, to different treatments, and that's why we decided to get in contact with the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem. You decided to donate this ambulance. So now we have two ambulances in Aleh, and I can guarantee and promise we will use it every single day, every single day, to normal treatments, but also to hospitals. We can put here inside several children at the same time. We can use it for, for example, we can put here inside four wheelchairs together. And every single time when we send a child to the hospitals or to treatments, we have nurses that got going with him together. So it's a very, it's, it will make a, a big difference in the lives of the children of Aleh. A huge impact on their lives. And we are grateful for that. It's very exciting to work with you. It's a pri privilege for us. We are proud working with you together. And I think if we co collaborate all the religion together, we will create a better world. We appreciate the fact that Christians from all over the world are standing with Israel, especially today. We need your support, we need your help, 
we appreciate your support, we appreciate your help, and I am grateful for that.